go. Yeah. I'm like an addict. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamara Agua and I am back with another exciting video. This is the part four of the series How to Make Your Own Cosmetics from Scratch. And today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make a coffee gel screw. Why coffee, you might ask? Well, the simple answer to that is I love to incorporate natural ingredients into my skincare formula and coffee for one is very effective at clearing the skin, reducing the appearance of acne and also reducing the appearance of cellulite on the skin due to the caffeine in coffee. It helps to dilate the blood vessels as well as stimulate blood flow around the body thereby reducing excess water on the skin. So that being said, this formula is great for the face as well as the rest of the body. Um, now that we know what today's video is all about, I'm going to be introducing you guys to all of the ingredients that I'll be using for this formula. Please bear in mind that I have already weighed out most of the ingredients. I'll be using deionized water. You can also use distilled water. Rosemary hydrosol. So if you don't know how to make any hydrosol of any kind, please do check out my previous video where I showed how to make rosemary hydrosol. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Please do check that out. I'm also using aloe vera juice. I'm also going to be using glycerin. I'm also going to be using a cagumer. This is going to help us thicken our formula. I'm also going to be using triethanolamine. This is going to help us adjust the pH of the formula as well as activate our carbomer. And because this is a water-based formula, I'm going to be using a preservative. This is very important. You need a preservative because you don't want any microorganisms or germs growing in your skincare formula. Last but not the least, I'll be using ground coffee. Don't forget your pH indicator paper or your pH meter because this is very important in this formula. And finally, you will need a scale. First things first, you want to sprinkle your carbomer on the surface of your deionized or distilled water. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste. After sprinkling your carbomer on the surface of your distilled water, the next step is to wait about 10 to 15 minutes or even 20 minutes so the carbomer can hydrate properly because you don't want to go ahead and start mixing immediately because your the carbomer will stick to your mixer and that is not what we want. We want it to be completely and fully hydrated before we start mixing. So we're going to give this about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes roughly to allow the carbomer to, you know, fully hydrate. As you guys can see, our carbomer has fully hydrated. Um, so I'm going to mix this now with the stick blender for about one minute. I'm going to stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks. Like I'll just keep this aside and wait for a few minutes so all the air bubbles and the foam goes down. Now that the air bubbles are a little bit reduced, we'll move on to the next step by adding the other ingredients one step at a time. The first ingredient we're adding is the aloe vera juice. Who's that? I'm new, come back better than last year. It's a new me, never gonna look back. The next ingredient we're adding is the rosemary hydrosol. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was... Next is the vegetable glycerin. You move slow when I move fast. And that's fact. Only I can make a change. Next is the preservative. Fully take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes So the only thing left that we haven't added is the um, the triethanolamine 
and the coffee the ground coffee so now that we've added everything else the next step would be to mix everything together and make sure everything is completely incorporated <laughs> formula I won't be adding any fragrances because the ground coffee has its own very strong scent I'm sure you guys know that already and it's going to you know um, envelope the whole formula and also the rosemary hydrosol is also pretty much um, frag um, you know has its own natural fragrance so because of these two reasons I'm not going to be adding any extra fragrance or essential oils in this formula so now that we have everything fully incorporated, the next step would be to add our tree ethanolamine. I'ma do all the winning, I do what's right, push until I fall, I'm slipping to get back up, always stand tall, I'm grinning. I got cuts real deep, big bruise the squad, I had to burn out of After adding the tree ethanolamine, the next step would be to mix it till the um, carboma activates, and then the next step would be to check the pH. With my head not hard, I've been chewed up, spit out, torn apart But picking up all the pieces is a form of art I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow when I move fast And that's fact So to check the pH, I'm sure you guys already know how to do this But I'm just going to show it anyways To check the pH, I already weighed out 10 grams of deionized water into this beaker so the next step would be to weigh in one gram of our gel into that same beaker we'll mix everything together and then we'll use our lit uh, pH indicator paper to check the pH only I can make a change slowly take a step today I will never be the same cause that's what it takes The pH and from the color on the pH indicator paper this should be between 6 and 7 which is is good for us um, our scrub formula so now that we've checked our pH and the pH is exactly where we want it to be the next the next and final step would be to um, add our ground coffee <laughs> coffee was the final step but yeah we can't just leave it in the mixing um, bowl so we have to transfer the gel into the con storage container of your choice We have come to the end of today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, please do not hesitate to hit that like button and also share this video with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if this is the kind of co content you're interested in. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notification that is the little bell close to the subscribe button so you get notified each time I post a new video. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.